Hi boys and girls, it's Gwen. And today we are gonna be doing lesson 5.9. It says, color the cards that make the same number. And I don't, I'm not gonna do all of these, I'm just gonna give you an example, cause there's a lot. So the first one I'm gonna do is this one right here. It says 13 minus six. So I'm gonna bring over these right here and I have 13 pennies already counted up. So it says minus, which means- Can you count them and make sure they're 13? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Oh, okay. So I made sure I have thirteen. And then it's a subtraction, so that means I need to take away six. So let's take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's move these to the side. Now we're looking at these right here. And if we count them, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left over. So it's seven. So over here. I would write seven. Okay, hmm, which one? How about this one? So I already- Three plus three plus one? You have to add three numbers together? Yeah. That seems impossible. Okay, so now let's count these. So it's one, two, three. Why did you put three Fruit Loops there? Well, I put three Fruit Loops because it says three plus three, and then one for a loop because there's a one. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, so let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This also equals seven. Because you're adding, you have to count them all. Yeah, so I would put a seven right there. Okay, let's think of one more to do. I think I want to do this one way down here. Oh, another three-digit problem? Yep, another three-digit problem. Okay. It says three plus two plus two. And I put three babies, two babies, and two babies because it's a, there's a three, there's a two, and there's a two. Okay, so now let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This also equals seven. And it said in the book to color all of the ones that have the same number and make sense. So I'm gonna color this one because it, it equals seven. I like the way you're coloring lightly so you can still see the problem. Thank you. And then I'm gonna color this one because it also equals seven. And then I'm gonna color this one because it also equals seven. This is what you would do on lesson 3.9 for an example. Mm, and I see a problem here that says 12 take away six. And because I know my doubles facts, I know that answer is going to be six. And we would not color that square because it does not equal seven. Nope. Thanks, Gwen. You're welcome.